Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a scene so that you can work with reference footage inside of Maya. Let's get going. First of all, what I'm going to do is set my project. So file, set project. This is important when you're working with image planes and I'll show you why in a few minutes. So we'll hit set and uh, let's go ahead and begin creating our scene. So I'll go to create cameras, camera. And we're going to name that camera right away. There we are. Uh, it's important to name the things in your scenes, right? So, Control A to go to the Attribute Editor. And we'll scroll down in the Attribute Editor to Orthographic Views, where we'll change the camera to an orthographic camera. I'm going to move the camera away from the origin right away. And uh, then I'm going to go to Environment, Image Plane, Create. And I'm going to move that image plane to the other side of the origin and then come over here and click on the file folder. And now you can see why. If you look here at source images, you'll notice that I'm in my project. So Maya knows to go and look in my source images folder for my image plane imagery. So I'm going to click on one of the images here, final 00, zero. and need to make note of something here as well, that our first frame is numbered 0 here, but in our scene it's actually the 1. So we're going to have to fix that, but we'll do that in just a second. So I'll hit open and you'll see the image in the viewport now. Now what we'll do is we'll click use image sequence, which will cause it to play in our viewport, but then we also have to come over here and offset the frame, and in this case by negative one, um, so that my first frame matches up with the, the first frame in the scene. And then an optional thing that you could do is come over to alpha gain, and I like to turn that down just a little bit, um, so the image is semi-transparent, but also it just makes the image less harsh to look at uh, when you're working at it, or working with it in the viewport. Okay. Uh, that's that. Let's hit uh, Control A again. And what we're going to do is we're going to just set up a couple of final things on the scene here. Uh, first of all, I want to match my timeline to my footage. And I know that there are only 72 frames in my footage. So there we go. That's complete. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the camera and the image plane to a layer. So I'll come over here and click on this button. And let's create a new layer and assign selected objects. Then I'll double click on the new layer and I'll name it Ref Cam. And uh, I'm going to color it red. I like to color my own layers um, or I like to organize things with colors. Um, it's so pretty. Anyway, uh, then what I can do is I can select my camera and I can go to Panels, Look Through Selected. And now I'm actually looking through that camera at the image plane. So what I'm going to do is click on the image plane and scale it up so that it fits my viewport. There we are. And then what I'll do is I'll go to the first frame where the ball hits the ground because I'm going to match my floor in my footage to the floor in the scene. So I'll drag this up here and there we are. Something like that. And then I'll use Alt Middle Mouse button to navigate the camera so that the image plane is back in my scene. So there we go. All right. Now, if I play the imagery back, there we go, that works. And then what I'll do is I'll just go File, Save Scene As, and we'll save this as Ref Footage underscore Setup. And hit Save As, and we are done. Well, I hope you find that helpful, and uh, all the best.